cap and trade and immigration reform. And I know that those are, are matters that are very important to you and your constituents and those within, within yep. the, with the Republican caucus. How will, the, how will the Republicans be handling those issues? They clearly are coming up. They are. And in fact, I have been having discussions with uh, leadership and with activist groups around the country on the immigration issue now for about seven or eight months. I've been, I've been very concerned about how we are positioned rhetorically uh, a, as well as uh, from uh, a political and policy side to make sure that we are working with our leadership on the Hill, that we're working with activists on the ground. We are the party of assimilation. We're the party that has always stood for welcoming people. We got away from that in 06 and 08, as you know, and paid a dear price for it. We shouldn't be in the business of alienating Americans, but welcoming them and showing them this is the process that's accepted to come here. This is the door you come through, the paper you fill out, have a piece of apple pie, sing a Star Spangled Banner and get to work, you know? <laughs> this is what the American dream is all about. It's about getting your hands uh, into uh, fighting for that dream. But you don't want to cheat yourself nor the country in the process, and I think that we can speak with a better degree of clarity than we have. So as, as we get ready for the debate uh, that will continue on health care as we get ready for in immigration and tort reform and and all kinds of other things that are going to be coming down the pike, uh, that level of civility, Chef, is very, very important because that's